in the epithalamus, which is the underside of the front portion of the brain, is a pine cone shaped object called the pineal gland. And though it's situated deep in the brain, the primary job of the pineal gland is to manage the secretion of the hormone melatonin. Why is this gland in the brain, and what role does melatonin play in our brains and our bodies' role in general? Well, the first thing to say is there's some myths about the pineal gland. However, the pineal gland is present in all but the most primitive of vertebrae animals, so there's nothing particularly special about its role in the human body. It certainly isn't some kind of third eye that's killed off by fluoride, not unless a mouse or a chicken also has a third eye. Instead, the pineal gland actually produces melatonin, which regulates the circadian rhythms of the body, and also regulates some other reproductive hormones. When the human body is exposed to light, the secretion of melatonin is reduced, and correspondingly, production increases when it's dark. The body responds to levels of melatonin in your system, making you feel sleepy at night, more wakeful during the day. It's also why some concerns have been raised about light emitted by computer screens, televisions and other electronic devices. They too cause melatonin levels to be suppressed, so your body finds it more difficult to sleep. Light signals from the eye are sent to a tiny part of the hypothalamus in the brain, and then send signals to the pineal gland, so rate melatonin production. The pineal gland, being well supplied with blood, then will distribute the melatonin around the body. However, the position within the brain also means that melatonin can easily pass to the various regions of the brain, letting you know the ideal time to sleep. However, melatonin has another function which is related to reproduction. High levels of melatonin can block the secretion of gonadotropins, which, as the name suggests, are involved in reproduction. Insufficient gonadotropins can lead to infertility. A surge in one of these types of hormones, known as the luteinizing hormone, can lead to ovulation. The other hormone, known as follicle-stimulating hormone, regulates the growth and maturation of the reproductive organs themselves. So, disruption of normal sleep patterns of both humans and animals can lead to the disruption of their reproductive cycles. Some animals, however, do use the changing light levels at different times of the year to regulate their reproductive cycles so as to maximise the chance of any offspring surviving. By becoming reproductive at a particular time of year can be judged by the varying light levels. They can have a, the birth or adolescence of their offspring coincide with available food levels, temperatures and other seasonal factors which significantly alters survival rates. So, whilst the pineal gland may be just a tiny pine cone shaped object hidden in the base of our and animal brains, it can be a fundamental role in the survival of all creatures that are advanced enough to have it.